In our previous video clips, we looked at perspectives in photography, lighting in photography, and the process of selecting images for your photo journal. By now, I'm sure many of you have taken a lot of photographs and perhaps in the midst of selecting your images for your submission. By the way, my name is Wayne. I've been teaching photography in schools for the past 11 years. I also do a wide range of commercial shoots, such as corporate annual reports, product photography, drone aerial photography, and even streets photography. I love taking pictures because photography connects me to people, to places, and allows me to capture moments into memorable stories. Let me share with you an important techniques in photography and how I edit my photographs in the comfort of my home. Just a smart device. Framing is an important technique in photography. A well-framed image is visually interesting and will guide the viewer's attention to the subject you are photographing. Let's say I'm going to photograph myself doing laundry. I could use the opening of the washing machine to frame my shot. Before I start photographing, I would like to remind you that safety always comes first. If you are unsure, do seek advice from your parents or guardians. The washing machine's power is turned off. For this shot, I will turn on the camera application on my phone, switch to the front camera mode, and with a little bit of blue tag, I will secure the camera into the washing machine. As I attach the camera into the washing machine, I will also adjust it to get my desired composition. Alright, I'm happy with this composition. Now, I'm going to set the camera into self timer mode and get ready for the shot. 3, 2, 1. Besides framing, I also use leading lines in this photograph. My hand is like a leading line that draws attention to me, the subject in this photograph. When I photograph using my phone, I prefer not to use the flash function because it usually flattens the overall image and can cause unwanted reflections. In the picture taken with the flash, you will notice reflections on the inside of the washing machine drum. The camera flash also makes the image dull and flat whereas the one taken without the camera flash has a better contrast and looks more three-dimensional. Now, let me show you how I usually edit my photographs. There are many free applications and websites that we can use to edit our photographs. I use a free application called Snapseed that is available on both Android and iOS. Launch Snapseed and select the photograph you would like to edit. Depending on the orientation of your device, your user interface differs slightly. I will be editing in landscape. In the Looks tab, you will see some ready-to-use filters, also known as presets, where the exposure, colors, and tone are predetermined for you based on a certain look and feel. Tap on any of the presets to see an instant change in your image and the tick icon to commit a change. I usually edit manually using the tools. These tools give me more control over the edits made to my photograph. Select Tune Image you will be able to adjust things like the brightness, contrast, saturation in your photograph. For this photograph, I want to adjust the shadows. Let me show you what this tool does. Swipe right to increase the brightness of the parts that have shadow cast on them. You can see more details of the washing machine drum. See these bright areas in the photograph? I want to lower the brightness in these areas. Select Highlights 2. 
swipe left to decrease the brightness of these areas. Do note that adjusting highlights will only affect the bright areas and does not brighten or darken the entire photograph. When you select and use Brightness tool, notice that the adjustment affects the entire photograph. To make the photograph more colorful and vibrant, I will increase the saturation. Alright, I'm satisfied with the edits. Tap on the tick icon to save all the edits made. There is so much more to explore in editing a photograph. Experiment with the different tools and presets to see how you can enhance your photographs. Don't forget to save all the changes you have made, select export and save a copy to your device. So, what are the images I have selected and edited for my photo journal? Let's take a look at them. I get to spend more quality time with my family. We have played many games together during this period. No more excuses for not having time. Now is the best time to catch up on the books that I have been wanting to read for self-improvement. There is never an end to learning. As many of my work projects have been put on hold, I needed to find another source of income. I decided to sign up as a food delivery rider. Now is also the time to do a thorough cleanup of my house. These photographs sum up the things I have been doing during this circuit breaker period. My photo journal is a series of non-sequential photographs taken to bring across a message to see the brighter side of this circuit breaker period. It has given me more time with my family to learn more things and to push myself to do things I don't normally do. Just like this quote, we are making photographs to understand what our lives mean to us. Explore framing your pictures in different ways and experiment with different editing tools. Stay safe and have fun.